you're on your way to becoming a legend. Hey guys, this is HD Lulcast. Now some of you are probably thinking, why not HD Rafflecast? I mean, Raffle is better than lol, right? Well, if that's what you were thinking, you get a lollipop. Woohoo! Uh, wait, no, no, not that kind. The poison kind. There will be no ra- okay, okay. Except for this one, there will be no rafflecopters in this channel. Just videos about lol. No, no, not that kind of lol. That, that League of Legends, yeah, the game, yeah, man, gosh. Okay, so here you're gonna find overviews, reviews, strategies, skills, guides, news, updates, commentaries, and anything else that people pester me enough to put up here. No, quit poking me. Now is not the time for suggestions. Leave me a comment after watching the video if you've got something to say. Cause when people poke me, it often ends up something kinda like this. Yeah, I'm laughing, you're crying. Alright, so now you're wondering, who the hell is this guy and what makes him good enough to make lol videos? I really wanna know. Well hey, that's what was going on in my head at least. Okay, I'll tell ya. Honestly, I'm not anybody in particular and I'm not the best out there, but hey, you can probably still get a thing or two out of my videos because I've got a brain and sometimes I use it so sometimes I say intelligent things. And most particularly, even if I can't pull it off flawlessly every time, it'll still give you the info that you need about League of Legends. Alright, there you go. Now down to business. Today we're addressing the absolute basics for people who have not ever played the game before. Yep, you guessed it. That is why it's called an introduction, Padawan Learner. Okay, looky here. We call this the loading screen. Shiny, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, well hurry up and punch in your info so we can get this show on the road. Alright, you've signed in, good job, but now what do you do? You click the play button, dummy! It's right there at the top of the screen, big and red. Punch that sucker. Alright, now if you are a complete noob, and this is your first time ever playing, you gotta hit the tutorial button, because that is going to teach you how to play. Now I don't have to do it, it's awesome. Okay, once you've done that, then you come back to this video, because I'm going to jump ahead and assume that you have played the tutorial. So you better do it, alright? Do it. Do it. Do it. Alright, now you've mastered the tutorial. Now you're ready for an actual match, but you are too chicken to play against actual humans because you know I am out there somewhere waiting to end your soul. Just like Vigar says. I will swallow your soul! Okay, so what you're gonna do is you are going to play a custom game. Now a custom game is your own game, you can put a password on it, that way no one else joins, and you can play against bots. That way you don't have to worry about me blowing your face up. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, so make sure it's a 5v5 game too. You can add bots by clicking on this button here, choose the difficulties, whatever you want, do it up. Make sure it's a 5v5. Sure, you can do a one-on-one, -on -one, you can do a one-on-no-one, -on -one, but what is the point in that when all of your other games are going to be a 5v5? You gotta make sure you get the experience that you need in order to queue up against me and have your soul ended, okay? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna put a 5v5. If you do a 5v5, that means the teams are even. In an even custom match, when you finish, you get EXP and IP. It's a great deal. Alright, so 5v5, when you're ready, you hit start game. It's right here. Start game. Okay, so you've started the game, now what do you do? Well, you've got 10 free champions each week that you can pick from. So pick one that looks good to you. It doesn't matter whether or not they're awesome or not. All champions have their strengths and weaknesses. Just pick one that you like. Eventually you're going to try them all anyway, right? Okay, so pick your champion. Once you've done that, you pick your summoner spells. These are free spells. They don't cost any mana. You probably went over them in the tutorial. Pick them here. You click this little button. You pick your spells. They're awesome. You know what? Don't worry too much about the choices that you make right now. What's going to happen is you're going to play around a bit. You're going to try different champions. You're going to try different spells. You're going to find out which ones you like which ones you think are strong, and which ones are weak like your abs. Now, once you've got your mind made up, you hit lock in. Now you wait for the game to start. Ooh, loading screen. Time for some loading screen music. Okay, that's enough of that. 
bloody annoying music. Ugh, I hate that stuff. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, alrighty now. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Yeah, there's a little lady who says that. You're gonna hear it a lot. Don't worry about it, man. It's not that annoying. Okay, so first things first. We gotta buy an item. You got all this shiny gold lying around that's not doing us any good if it's in the bank. So you'll see a list of recommended items up at the top of the page here. Usually going with the first one is a good choice, and this will typically be a Doran's something or other item. Doran knows what he's doing early game. He's got a ring, he's got a blade, he's got a shield. All three of these items are excellent choices for early game if they suit your character, okay? The only downside to buying a Doran's item is that it never builds into anything later on in the game. The good news is that by the time you fill up all of your slots and you need to sell Doran's, it's not going to be that big of a deal because it will have served you well for a good 35, 40 or more minutes. Okay, important note here. Do not be afraid to buy health potions. After you buy your first item, fill up on health potions with your remaining gold. At first, I did not buy health potions when I started playing this game. I looked at them and I thought, well, what is the point in a health potion? Because I'm just wasting my gold. It's a consumable. It's not going to last me. I'm cheap. I want something that's going to last. Well, the thing is... 200 health over 20 seconds is a really huge early game. You've only got 500 or 600 health, so 35 gold is going to get you to stay in your lane longer by giving you an extra one-third of your life. It's awesome. The longer you can stay in your lane, the more gold and experience you can get before you have to run back like a little girly man and waste time running back and forth, okay? Health potions are great. Just remember to use them. Don't forget you've got them in your inventory. That's what I always do. I forget I've got things I can use bad plan it makes you a bad player okay now you've got your items okay so now you have to think about laning there are three lanes and five of you so one of you is gonna have to go solo now solo is almost always the middle lane do you want to go solo you're a new player is it good is it bad you're gonna get more experience and gold in the solo lane sounds like a good plan right well the thing is you have no one to pull your butt out of the fire now all of us do really dumb things and when we're new we do even dumber things, okay? So that means you, you're gonna do dumb things. What are you gonna do when you do something dumb? You're gonna scream like a little well, girl and you're gonna go good. crying to your lane partner and he is gonna pull your butt out of the fire. That is why you are picking top or bottom, doesn't really matter which at this well, point, so that you can good. get a lane partner who's hopefully better than you and will pull your butt out of the fire when you need it. Awesome. Good plan. Okay, so now you're on your way to your lane. You trundle up to your tower like so. You notice that grass there and you think to yourself, hmm, the tutorial told me that if I go in that grass, I go invisible. Well, that's going to surely give me an advantage, right? Let's go invisible. Bad plan, Skipper. Stay away from the grass. That grass will be your death. If you go in there by yourself, oftentimes you will find that both of the enemies have already made their way into that grass and they're just waiting there for you to walk in like Alice in Wonderland and get your head stuck down the rabbit hole while they pound on your ass, okay? Bad plan. You gotta stay away from the grass. When the minions come up, like so, do not walk on the side with the grass. and They will skill shot you, stun you, pop you in the face, whatever, from the grass and they'll get the jump on you. You stay on this side over here so that if they are in the grass, you have a little wave of meat shields to save your butt. It's awesome. Make sure to remember to do this or you're gonna regret it later. You also gotta remember that minions are meat shields throughout the entire game. They ain't just meat shields at the beginning. So, as you can see here, I'm putting a wave of minions between myself and those enemy champions. I'm doing this because I know that if I give them a clear runway up to me, they're just gonna mosey on up there and pop me in the face, and that thing's bad enough looking as it is as an undead monster. So I gotta be careful about where I am in relation to my minions. Next thing you also gotta remember is if you can see in the top left corner of the screen here, there is a river. Now, the river is awesome and dangerous, okay? Awesome and dangerous, it's a great combo, it's a bad combo, you make up your mind, but the bottom line is, do not cross the river alone. Because if you cross the river alone, you're gonna mosey on up there, you're gonna think there's no one around, you're gonna be wasting on a tower, and the next thing you know, somebody's gonna pop up behind you after having come out of the river, and they're gonna start blaining your butt while the tower's blaining your face. Double blaining is double bad, okay? Be careful of crossing the river alone. You gotta have backup or you gotta know where everyone is because if someone's disappeared, they will be sneaking up behind you, okay? All right, now that we have covered the basics of how to stay alive, we're just gonna briefly cover the basics of how you get your champion to advance in the game. Obviously, you get experience if you're close enough when an enemy unit dies. That's good. 
We also know that you only get gold if you score the last hit, so there's two important things to remember. Do not continually auto attack. As you see here, I'm moving around, I'm not letting him auto attack. If you auto attack, there's two problems. One, you will kill the enemy units too quickly and you will push too far. That means you're vul vulnerable to their tower and you are also vul vul the you're also going to get blamed in the butt by the river. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? Now, you also need to remember that if you're continually auto-attacking, what's going to happen is that you're going to be in between swings all the time. It's going to make it a lot harder to time that auto-attack that's going to get you the killing blow. You don't really want to waste your abilities too much on killing minions this early in the game because you have a very limited mana pool and if you run out of mana you can't escape, you can't kill the enemy champions, it's bad all around, okay? So your auto attack is essential, do not just leave your hero running by himself, make sure you are timing your auto attacks very intelligently. Alright, so now the only thing you got left to learn is to go kill the enemy nexus, that's how you win, problem solved. You have the basics of how to stay alive, that is be careful of the bushes, keep a wave of minions between yourself and your enemies as a meat shield, and don't do anything stupid, and if you do, scream at your lane partner like a little girl, and you know, you can cry later if you really need to once you're back in the nexus. Number two, advancing through the game. Stay close enough to enemy units when they die that you get your experience. Also make sure you time your last hits well with your auto attack so that you can get that gold. And last but not least, remember that you win by blowing up the enemy nexus. Pretty straightforward, right? Well guys, that concludes our introduction! Woohoo! That means that you now know how to play League of Legends! Guys, why are you not as excited as me? This is the awesomest thing ever! You are on your way to becoming a legend! Alright guys, seriously, you've got to get a little more passion about this, because this is fun stuff! Come on! Alright, next time we're going to have a little bit more of an advanced basics tutorial. Going to cover things like zoning, laning, pushing, retreating, engaging, and other awesome things. I can tell you guys are excited already, but if you're not, you should be, because I am, and it's gonna be great! So guys, this has been HD LOLcast, it has been fun, and join us next time! You're on your way to becoming a legend.